gracious good day to one and all. Once again, tis I, Norton I, by grace of God, Emperor of the United States and Protector of Mexico, back with you once again for episode 51 of Emperor Norton's Fantastic History Vlog. Today is May 22nd, 2020. It is our 68th day under a shelter-in-place order here in San Francisco. Because yesterday was our 50th episode, we did a retrospective, we missed some of the events of yesterday, so we're going to be covering both the 21st and the 22nd. It's a small catch-up day, let's just say a catch-up packet, perhaps. And also, we're going to be doing these in reverse order, you'll understand why in a moment. We're going to start off with May 22nd for the important events in San Francisco, and then go back to May 21st. And before we launch into this item, we would like to thank Dan Nicoletta, the incredible photographer, for many of the images we're going to be using in this next segment. Because today would have been Harvey Milk's 90th birthday. Now, Harvey Milk was the first openly gay elected official of a major city in the United States. He was a member of San Francisco's Board of Supervisors. He and Mayor George Moscone were assassinated in City Hall, San Francisco, on November 27, 1978. And we'll be talking about the aftermath of that in a moment as well. Harvey Milk was an inspiration for many, an incredible speaker. And so we're going to begin with a few of his quotes on today's vlog. I know that you cannot live on hope alone, but without it, life is not worth living. <clears throat> and you, and you, and you, gotta give them hope. The only thing they have to look forward to is hope, and you have to give them hope. Hope for a better world, hope for a better tomorrow, hope for a better place to come if the pressures at home are too great. Hope that all will be all right. Without hope, not only gays, but the blacks, the seniors, the handicapped, will give up. If you help elect the Central Committee and other officers, more gay people, that gives a green light to all who feel disenfranchised, a green light to move forward. It means hope to a nation that has given up. Because if a gay person makes it, the doors are open to everyone. That still resonates today, I think, on some other circumstances as well. It takes no compromise to give people their rights. It takes no money to respect the individual. It takes no political deal to give people freedom. It takes no survey to remove repression. All men are created equal. No matter how hard they try, they can never erase those words. That is what America is about. Very true, Harvey, very true. Burst down those closet doors once and for all. Stand up and start to fight. Rights are won only by those who make their voices heard, indeed. And of course, the one, the most prophetic. If a bullet should enter my brain, let that bullet destroy every closet door. The number of people who look to Harvey Milk for inspiration, especially in their coming out journey, is incalculable. And hats off to Harvey Milk on what would have been his 90th birthday today. And once again, thanks to Dan Nicoletta, who worked in Harvey Milk's camera shop, Castro Camera, on Castro Street here in San Francisco. And that's what really got his career going as a photographer. And the reason we're having to go back to my May 21st is because on that date in 1979, the verdict in the murder trial for Harvey Milk and George Moscone was handed down uh, Dan White was convicted of the lowest charge possible, short of acquittal, involuntary manslaughter, sentenced to seven years, served five. And the uh, verdict caused riots. Uh, there were riots at City Hall by many of Harvey Milk's supporters, members of the LGBTQ community. But there was also a most unfortunate riot back in the Castro. Uh, the police took revenge because many of the rioters at City Hall damaged property, including police cars. They went into a bar at the time called the Elephant Walk, uh, now called Harvey's in honor of Harvey Milk, and some other locations in the Castro pulled people out and just started batching them randomly. It was a terrible, terrible night, the White Night Riots. Well, 
Let's uh, stay with May 21st, some of our events in history today. It was this date in, uh, that date rather, May 21st in 1881, that the American Red Cross was founded by Clara Barton. 1908, May 21st, the first horror movie, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde premieres. 1914, Greyhound Bus Company begins service. They began in Minnesota. On this date in 1927, aviator Charles Lindbergh and the Spirit of St. Louis lands in Paris after the first solo flight, air flight, crossing the Atlantic. And also on that date in 1932, after flying 17 hours from Newfoundland, Amelia Earhart lands in Londonderry, Northern Ireland, becoming the first transatlantic solo flight by a woman. On May 21st, 1933, the Mount Davidson Cross in San Francisco was lit by Franklin Delano Roosevelt, president, via telegraph. And in 1945, on May 21st, Nazi SS Reichsführer Heinrich Himmler was captured. To so move on to May 22nd, it was on that date, this date rather, in 1906 that the Wright brothers are granted a patent for their flying machine. Having applied for one three years earlier, it was patent number 821393. 1909, the first San Francisco fireboat, the David Scannell, was launched. I believe we have three, perhaps four. I know a lot of people who are in Guardians of the City, and perhaps they will correct me on that. I hope they do. Leave your comments below. Uh, let's see. Uh, 1915, Lassen Peak erupts with a powerful force, the only mountain other than Mount St. Helens to erupt in the continental U.S. during the 20th century. On the, May 22, 1954, young Robert Zimmerman is bar mitzvah. You know him as Bob Dylan. And it was on this date in 1986 that Cher called David Letterman an <laughs> on his TV show. And also on 1992 was Johnny Carson's final appearance as the host of The Tonight Show. Births for May 22nd include 1844, the painter Henri Rousseau, uh, architect Marcel Brewer, 1904, Fats Waller, the jazz singer and composer, ain't misbehaven. 1917, actor Raymond Burr, who you may remember from uh, Perry Mason, Ironsides, which by the way, uh, most people don't know this, but uh, in the TV series Ironsides, his office was at the Hall of Justice opposite Portsby Square here in San Francisco. 1924, Peggy Cass. Of course, she was so wonderful in Auntie Maine and was a frequent uh, game show contestant. And 1952, Mr. T. I pity the fool! May 22nd, births include composer Richard Wagner in 1813, 1859, Sherlock Holmes writer Arthur Conan Doyle, 1907, actor Laurence Olivier, 1907, Air uh, he was the creator of Tin Tin, a particular favorite of mine. 1942, the Unabomber, Ted Kaczynski. And 1950, uh, lyricist Bernie Taupin, the frequent uh, partner of uh, Elton John, partner in writing. Deaths on May 22nd include uh, Jane Addams, founder, a founder of the ACLU, the American Civil Liberties Union. 1991, Rajiv Gandhi, the Indian Prime Minister, was assassinated uh, by a suicide bomber. The year 2000, uh, we lost Sir John Gielgud, one of the great Shakespearean actors. Of course, he and Lawrence Olivier, uh, the third great one from that time, Sir Ralph Richardson. Now, May 22nd, deaths include First First Lady. That doesn't sound right, but it's correct. Martha Washington. 1885, the writer of The Hunchback of Notre Dame and Les Miserables, uh, Victor Hugo. 1967, the American poet and playwright Langston Hughes. Well, that wraps it up for today. I hope you enjoyed our uh, the morning from the Imperial Gardens. We haven't been down here in a while, but the weather seems to be cooperating. Hopefully not too much wind noise today. We'll see when we go into post-production. Until we meet again, 
Stay safe, stay healthy, stay inside. If you go outside, wear a mask. Don't be stupid, be smart. Be kind to one another. Be gracious. Good day to all.